Hi friends, Father Scott again. Our gospel reading for today is the story of the raising of Lazarus. And when at that climactic moment, when Lazarus comes out of the tomb, I wonder what he's thinking. Listen to this. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I know I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to him, untie him and let him go. As Lazarus comes out of the tomb and into the light of day once again, I wonder what's going through his mind. And I wonder what's going on in his heart, too. He can't have seen the world in the same way. It must have been so disorienting for him. You know, I recently saw the movie uh, Justice League. And in that movie, uh, uh, Superman is raised from the dead. In the uh, movie before that, uh, in... Batman versus Superman, I think it is, or Superman versus Batman, I can't remember which. Superman gets killed, but in Justice League, he's raised from the dead. And uh, when he does come back to life, he is so disoriented, and he's fighting against his friends. And it's only eventually that uh, he comes back to himself. But I can't imagine that someone who went through the experience that Lazarus did ever came back to being who he was before. I have to imagine that every time he opened his eyes again, it was a new and different experience and a recollection of what he had gone through, being dead and then being alive. Brothers and sisters in Christ, that is the experience, or it should be, or it can be, the experience of every Christian. All of us were dead to sin, are dead to God through sin, because of sin. All of us have been made alive again through Jesus Christ, who has called us out of the tombs and into the light of day once more, the light of his love and his peace. That is the experience of every Christian. When we are baptized into Christ, we become a new creation. Now, for most of us, our baptism took place when we were children, for most of us Catholics anyway. But for all of us, Every day is a new opportunity to claim that baptism, to claim that new life that we have been given, and to see the world in a new way. Every day is an opportunity to call on the Holy Spirit, to give us new eyes, to see the world in a new way, to be deepened in our experience of who God is to know his love more deeply, and to share his love more fully with those around us. Every day, every time we open our eyes, it's an opportunity for new life. You know, pretty soon, not long at all, we are all going to be kind of set free. You know, I don't want to be too dramatic about it, but it kind of reminds me of... Uh, uh, our first reading for today from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, it says, Thus says the Lord, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Now, like I said, let's not get too dramatic. God is not opening our graves and we'll come out again into the light of day. But it will be kind of a resurrection, won't it? It'll be a resurrection to renewing of relationships with each other that, that have kind of been, sep we've been separated from. 
There'll be an opportunity for renewal of creation of the community that has kind of been jangled here in our separation and in our isolation. And it's also an opportunity to do community, to be together in new ways. You know, I don't think that after this experience, we will see our communities in the same way. Hopefully, we'll hold them a little bit more dear. Hopefully, we will recognize just how important we are to each other. Hopefully, we'll be able to love a little bit more deeply and to let other people know how much they mean to us. Hopefully, we'll begin a little bit more to see other people the way that God sees them. Precious, beloved children. That's who we are to God. Precious, beloved brothers and sisters. That's who we can be and should be to each other. I'm looking forward to that day. Looking forward to that day when I'll be able to be with you again in person, in the flesh. Not have to be standing back but be able to be with you and shake your hand again. May God bless you and keep you this week, and I'll be talking to you again soon.